How to do a COVID antibody test. What the pack contains. Your pack contains a small pipette, an alcohol wipe, a solvent solution and the COVID test device. Step 1. Prepare everything. Make sure you have everything you need to hand. Step 2. Wash your hands. Make sure that you don't introduce any potential sources of contamination. If you're testing someone else, please put on gloves. Step 3. Use the alcohol wipe to disinfect the finger. It's best to choose the finger with the best circulation. Step 4. Use the finger prick device. Gently twist the end of the finger prick device to remove the cap. Then place the finger prick device against the finger and gently push down until it clicks. Then remove the device from the finger. Step 5. Gently squeeze each side of the finger to help to create a small bubble. Be careful not to put your fingers into the sample. Step 6. Use the pipette to draw up blood from the bubble. Try not to get any air bubbles in the sample and don't soak the sample too far into the pipette. Step 7. Place the blood droplet into the well on the test device. Step 8. Add the solution. It's recommended to use around 4 drops of the solution into the well on the test kit. Step 9. Wait for up to 15 minutes, although results may often be seen much quicker. In the demonstration given, using a real sample, we can see that a positive result was obtained in less than 4 minutes. Step 10. Reading the results. From this sample we can see three bars. Two strong top bars and one extremely faint bottom bar. The top bar represents control, proving that the test device works as expected. The middle line shows that the body has recently fought a COVID infection and has a store of antibodies to fight a future infection. The bottom line indicates whether a person is actively fighting the COVID virus. In this example, there is a very faint bottom line. Combined with the strength of the line above, this indicates that the body has recently got over fighting, but there are still some residual antibodies from that battle in the bloodstream. For more information or for help interpreting your results, please contact us by telephone or email.